parks are important because it's a place for people to enjoy their quality of life. I'm so proud that y'all fixing the parks for the kids, you know. All the parks are going to be safe and they're going to be uh, places where our parents and our families will want to take their kids to and enjoy the, the day and take their kids and build community. We talk about violence prevention, we talk about public health. Uh, it's all interrelated. It's not just about open space and a field uh, and a few places for people to, to run around. It's a lot more than that and uh, NPC gets that and they communicate that in a way that allows the public to embrace what we're trying to achieve. Every neighborhood in San Francisco has a unique flavor, and every park is special to someone. And so those folks who feel most strongly about their parks in their individual neighborhood, we bring them together to talk about parks in a citywide manner, because we're stronger together. A lot of what people are experiencing in their own neighborhood park, someone else is also struggling with or feeling successful about, and we want to make sure that those voices are united. Neighborhood Parks Council is in a pretty unique niche in San Francisco where we really are part partner with the Recreation and Parks Department but have a strong advocacy role with the city as well. What we can the Neighborhood Parks is Council is probably our strongest advocate and uh, sometimes a harsh critic of parks and recreation in San Francisco but they're a great partner for the public, for our neighborhoods and for the city government. The Neighborhood Parks Council is one of this department's most important partners. We want to do it with you, and I can't say that enough. For its passion, its commitment to improving uh, this city's urban uh, park system uh, because of its expertise of its staff and the members, and because of how much the Neighborhood Parks Council and all of the Friends of groups that it organizes simply care about making our park system better. NPC is kind of the premier parks advocacy group in San Francisco, um, connecting park users, citizens with City Hall, um, helping to make certain that the Department of Rec and Park clean the bathrooms in the parks, uh, give park users what they need and what they want. Um, it also acts as a fiscal sponsor and as an organizer for the dozens of parks groups throughout the city. Park groups come in all shapes and sizes, and we support all of them. Friends of Balboa Park Playground, uh, what an inspiring group of people. They came together and decided that they wanted a new playground for their community. Really, you know, you know we've got all our kids running around, and it's just a group of local parents and residents that have organized to put all this together. Working with us and working with the Recreation and Parks Department, we were able to match them with a playground provider, a funder, who purchased a playground. Tasty. And the result is not only a new playground, which is important, but a revitalized community around that playground that is just not going to let it get misused. We did this because of our families. I, at first it was because of wanting a space, a, a, a safe, beautiful space for our kids to play. But then it grew into something more. It grew into a community activity that helped us to build community in this neighborhood. March 28th. Okay. The Neighborhood Parks Council helps us navigate through political waters that we otherwise would not know how to. We had ideas of what we wanted to do and we had you know really grand plans and things we really wanted to accomplish but we didn't know how the city works and how the processes work and the legal aspects and the financial aspects and so they've acted as really powerful advocates for us and a definite like amazing resource of information. MPC acts as an advocate for the parks by helping to influence policy uh, but uh, direct action from uh, the mayor's office and recreation and parks. I've been working with the Neighborhood Parks Council for 12 years and there wouldn't have been any accountability that the parks uh, now have because of the stewardship of MPC that said, look, we've got to be more transparent and we've got to do what we say we're going to do. Uh, and we recognize we're not perfect, uh, but we're a lot better because of the Parks Council. You're alive. <laughs> Smile. Without MPC, I know from personal experience, having lived here for many, many, many years, we would not 
have the parks in at least the shape they are. I was involved in the build in 2003. So since then I've also been participating in ParkScan, which has been a godsend, thanks to NPC. ParkScan is the website, parkscan.org. So ParkScan is the direct reporting portal to the Parks Department about maintenance issues, but it's also a transparent reporting mechanism. In other words, you and I can track exactly what happens when we send in that request to have something fixed or to have graffiti painted over. The assessment is a, an NPC uh, playground report card, and what we do is we do an assessment on as many parks as we can, and I understand this year it's 144. West Sunset Playground sure looks like a nice enough park for maybe a little exercise or for Renee Tom here, a great place to slide. But according to the nonprofit Neighborhood Parks Council, Renee is surrounded by danger. The combination of a worn and feathered wood structure with exposed splinters, some rusty metal parts or exposed bolts, some unclean, unsafe sand, and unsafe distances between structures result in a failed playground. Thomas also says the sand might contain arsenic leaching from the pressure-treated wood at this 30-year-old playground. The Neighborhood Parks Council is meeting with the mayor to give 25 of the city's 144 parks a D or an F. So, Mr. Mayor, would you like to join us up here in your usual seat? <laughs> I know, right? Our relationship with the mayor's office is great. I mean, the mayor, you know, is a park champion, and we've been thrilled with um, the focus that he's had and the resources that he's put into parks. We want extra services, and we think this is the way to go. So we want to know what, what, what is the level of basic service to parks the city can provide, and above and beyond that, the community should be able to step up and help our city have fabulous parks. So that's where there's a little tension. We, we want to move on now Good. to some um, <laughs> Those great public institutions, the libraries, the schools, and the parks are in danger. And um, it's a shock how much time and energy and private money it really takes to sustain these public institutions because of the budget crisis, because of all the other kind of demands on city government. And NPC keeps the parks alive and active and accessible and in good quality for, again, all San Franciscans regardless of their walk of life. I would ask folks that are interested in doing more for the Neighborhood Parks Council to consider supporting us uh, through an individual donation to support our advocacy work, to really help underwrite the costs that we incur to be at all those hearings, to be at all those meetings, and to testify and make sure that parks are staying high on the civic radar. We've got amazing park advocates and a real strong base. A park emergency? I'll be right there. <laughs> That's how our office is. It's happy, it's fun, it's beautiful, it's green, it's community. Our kids are really getting a chance to meet and play and get to know each other. You know, our kids didn't play together before this. It's a place that you can go where you feel a part of something bigger. It's basically all of our backyards. This park is going to be absolutely fantastic. The most fantastic park in San Francisco. And we are going to do it.